this is Rilla Gems. Welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to start off to show you how much I've gotten done. Um, I didn't work on it today very much, maybe the last hour. Um, I decided to venture out for the day and hang out with a friend and went for a drive. So I did not get very much done on this flirty Friday. So we're going to continue on and I'm going to open up a new section and I'll be right back when I'm opening up the new section. And I'm back. Um, sorry about the lighting. It is evening here and I want to film this so that it is up and ready for you guys in the morning. Oh, so I think I only have like a little bit left of her pants. And then I go on to his area, I guess. So excited. I think the detail in these pants are just amazing. I'm really, 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 really liking this painting so far. But as you can see, I'm not even done the first row. This is going to take me a while, guys. I'm not going to lie. And then for tonight, all my uh, ice melted, but I am drinking a uh, liquid beverage. I <laughs> I am drinking alcohol tonight. I'm drinking, I think it's blue raspberry um, sourpuss and S S Sprite Zero. That's what I'm drinking. So if I sound a little slurry, it's because I had one and a half of these. Yeah, they're very very tasty. Very, 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 very tasty. So yeah. I'm going to cut here, I think. So I, I just showed you that in the beginning because I'm not going to show you it at the end because I am not very far into this, so I don't see a point in it. Plus, there's no way in heck I'm going to finish this section tonight. I know this for a fact. So gonna fold it here and see it's the end of her ripples in her pants. I'm gonna move my butterfly over to hold down the piece and away we go. Maybe the, the last time, the last section I did, I did the black first so maybe this time I'll do the color and Alyssa just came out of her room raging and yeah, 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 which one should I do? I'm going to do, I see a lot of fours, so maybe I'll start off with four. Hmm. Where are you four? I still don't know where all the colors are. They're so dark and this room is so dark. I'm having a hard time here having a hard time. So I'm still using Not Your Mama's Mud. I First time I dipped it into this tip, it worked really good. Now, and I don't know if it's because of the heat, because I feel warm, but it might be because I have a little bit of alcohol in me. I feel like it doesn't want to stay in the tip. Like when I poke it, it doesn't want to stay in there. I don't know, it did the first time and now it just doesn't want to. I don't understand, I don't get it, but I just did it. So let's see how long this lasts me. Did you check my laundry? Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's Friday. I'll be working and all of you guys are not. Sorry about that. I get all flustered when Alyssa walks in the room and she interrupts me. And then like, I think the alcohol is a factor in it tonight. <laughs> oh boy, I'm like a little bit, ew, kind of like crazy. So I do apologize right now. I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth. 
Gigi, what are you guys growling at? I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth tonight, so I apologize in advance. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy and off the wall. I do have one little story to say towards the end. I'll save it towards the end of the video. So I worked yesterday on my Bling Bling Wednesday and I had all intentions on working on this all day. But like I said, I went out for a drive with a friend and we went to... Uh, First we went to London and then he had some errands to run. And then we went for a drive along like the, the beachy areas around here, but we didn't actually go down to the water. Well, we saw a little bit of the water. I seen some boats in the harbor, but on the lakes, like the Great Lakes, because I live, like everybody goes to Lake Huron, which is near here. So we drove through the most popular town that has it. And he's like, oh, I'm not stopping because of COVID. So we didn't stop in that town. It's probably like zero cases there, but whatever. But there's a lot of tourists that go there. And the only thing about going for a drive is the lack of washrooms. Yeah, I found that a little difficult to me. <laughs> Just saying, and I don't know why Gigi's barking or who he's barking at. I got mail today. Oh, on my vibe, I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for the mail today. There should be something coming. Not thinking that yesterday was Canada Day and there is no mail on holidays. So that was kind of like poopy but it came today. So I have that one for my unboxing next week. Super excited to open that one. It's from a company and it's not from AliExpress. So yeah, super excited. Um, what else? What else happened on my days off? Not much other than I went for a drive with a friend. Nothing really else happened this week. I have to work all weekend and oh, I was supposed to go see Chloe today, which is my niece's daughter for her birthday, but I ended up not I was going to go to the store and buy her present, but I ended up getting it off of Amazon with Prime Delivery. So I'll be here tomorrow. Um, so I told her I'd just pop by after work and bring her her present. She turns two today. Yep, I remember um, her boyfriend was at work and she calls me at or fiance or whatever you want to call them. But anyway, she calls me on Canada Day, just before midnight, before the second, saying, uh, Aunt Liz, you need to drive me to the hospital. I'm in labor. And she called her boyfriend and he was on his way back. But yeah, she went in the middle of the night and then she had Chloe on the second of July. She wasn't a Canada Day baby, but she could have been if she had gone a little earlier, but nope. She did not. I don't know if it's the alcohol I'm drinking, but I am super, super hot. I'm either going through a midlife crisis here, getting the hot flashes. I don't know what it is, but I am super, super hot right now. I think it's the alcohol. I honestly do. Because, whew, I'm getting hot. 
It's getting hot in here. I am going to take off my clothes soon if it gets too hot in here. Oh yeah, it's hot. Um, I forget what I was saying all about Chloe. So yeah, it's Chloe's birthday, so I got to do that tomorrow. Hopefully it comes from Amazon before I come home from work so that I can just go there and drop it off to her. She'll be all excited. I got her, her mom said she liked horses. So I got her this little horse and it comes with, oh, there goes the fridge. It comes with like a little purse and a comb and a carrot. It's cute. I think she'll like it. I think she'll like it a lot. So that's what I got her for her birthday. Oh, and then today, after I come back, um, Alyssa wanted to go get her paycheck. So we went and got her paycheck and then she went cash it. And then uh, she's like, can we go to Walmart? Oh, cause I ended up, she ended up getting a phone. Um, it's coming in the mail. But I told her because it's such an expensive phone, you better get a case for it right away. So that when it comes in the mail, it's already protected. What am I looking for? I was going to do seven. Here it is, right here. So we went to Walmart for that, and then I thought, oh, I'll get some baby jar food for Luna. Because Sarah was complaining of how expensive baby food was. Then I didn't realize she didn't want mixed stuff. She wanted just the straight stuff, but whatever. Like, baby food probably can be preserved for a while in those she'll eat it by in a few weeks time or whatever but don't I drop a jar of glass jar of baby food in the middle of the aisle at Walmart because someone stacked them on top of each other and they were low and I went to go grab one and I didn't realize there was a jar on top of it and it went smash all over the floor and then Sarah <laughs> Not Sarah, Alyssa and Tyler were just staring at me. And then they walk away from me like nonchalantly, like, oh, we don't know this chick. <laughs> and they took off on me. And they're like, Mom, why did you why did you take that? I'm like, listen, why are you even looking at baby food? We don't have a baby. I'm like, uh, oh, we have Luna. Hello, people. So yeah. And then, and there just happened to be like a Walmart associate in the aisle. What happened? Then she just walks away from it. And I'm like, well, I can't leave this glass on the floor. Like if someone could hurt themselves. So I, I told Alyssa to wait there while I went to the washroom because I really had to go to the washroom. To, oh yeah, I had to go to the washroom because when it fell, it pooped on my foot and I was wearing sandals. So my, my toes were all full of green gook because I think it was peas and spinach that fell on my foot so yeah so I had to go clean it in the washroom and I told her to stand here by the cart and wait for the lady girl to come back well the girl didn't come back and then I looked like the manager or something came and I'm like oh sorry it fell blah 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 and then she's like well the associates aren't supposed to leave they're supposed to stay here until it's cleaned up and I'm like well, I don't know where she went, but uh, I stood here and waited for like, because I didn't want anybody to hurt themselves on it. She's like, oh, well, I'm here now. You can go. So then I left and I felt bad that I broke that jar of baby food. But Syrah, Syrah, I guess. I don't know. Leave it to Liz to break a jar of baby food in the baby aisle at Walmart. Yep. So she's like, well, I'm, she's supposed to be getting the baby bullet to make her own baby food. 
because she's complaining that the jars are too expensive. That's why I decided to go buy some. And yeah, it is what it is. She Well, I don't even know, like, she says she's going to do it, but it's so much easier just to use the jars, really, but she wants to save money, I guess. I don't know if you could even call it saving money, but that's what she wants to do. So, my sister's supposed to bring the bullet to my nieces, because I think they're coming down to bring Chloe's birthday present for Saturday. So they're going down to my niece's house. Yeah, so they've been pretty much staying around my kind of crowd of people, my family, and just a few friends that are, are quite, you know, I not like trying to hang out with the groups of a whole bunch of people or anything like that. Just the main people, pretty much people I work with, people I see every day that are around me every day. You know what I mean? So yeah. And my friends like Mo and the person I was hanging out with today. Yeah. Just about that kind of fun stuff. I haven't actually seen Mo. Mo went actually to Niagara Falls. She had holidays last week and she went up to the falls for a night. And I think she's brave going up to that area, but whatever. It is what it is. And she did go. I was scared to go to the airport. But I'm pretty sure someone told me today that in um, Middlesex County, where we live, there was no cases reported in the last day or two. So that is a good sign, at least I think so, that it's trending low here. Still not everything is open, still things are shut down. You. There's only the patios at restaurants open, and I'm telling you, with the heat wave out there right now, who in their right mind wants to go sit out on the patio in this stretching heat? Like, no thank you. I'd rather not go out at all. I just, I can't believe it. Like, it's so hot. I'm like, what is the difference? Like, tell me what the difference is of sitting inside, on, sitting outside on a patio, which usually the patios are restricted to not being that big because of space-wise. And as to opening up the restaurant and taking out a few tables, like, I don't, I don't understand the logic of the premier of Ontario. Like, I don't, I don't understand. What, do you think because we're outside, the virus can like float away? Like, I don't understand what his logic is on just patios. Like, I don't get it. And I don't know. And I'll probably never figure it out, guys. I probably never will figure it out. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on around here. Not too much. The cases are slowing down, but still not too much is open. The mall opened up, but not all the stores in the mall, I heard. I don't know, I haven't been to the mall, nor will I go probably until it's over. The only reason I would go to the mall is if I needed to go to the Apple store. And right now I don't need to go to the Apple store. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, it's over there. When I was at Walmart, um, my old, my old iPad case, look at it, so it's bad, it's dirty. And I have like tape on my, on my iPad, cause it, it, uh, it broke and I wanted a new one. So I went and bought this one 
and doesn't it darnly not fit in here? It's too big. So I am super upset. It's like, if you look at it, it doesn't even look like it. It looks the same size, but it's not. It's very bizarre and weird. But it doesn't fit in here, but it doesn't fit. Because I've tried. I've tried and it's too big, see? Oh, so mad. So mad. I wish like you could like squeeze it in a bit, but you can't. Yeah, super mad. But it does not fit in here. Ooh, look how dirty the back of my iPad is from being in that case. Ooh, I gotta wash it. I gotta wash my iPad. Oh, but I'm super mad. Look at how much of a gap. Oh, so mad. So mad right now. So I am gonna see if I can take that back to Walmart. I don't know if they'll take it back because I kind of ripped the cover. It's like the the traveling thing. I bought this one at Staples like when I bought the iPad, but it is so old and raggedy. It's like we've had that iPad Air. And the packages he said it was compatible to iPad Air, but clearly not my iPad Air. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, so I was kind of upset about that. Wasting my money. Wasting my money like that. I was so. I had to take a little breaky breaky. Always need some breaks to refresh my mind. I need a lot of refreshing sometimes. So I'm super excited about that DY Moon Shop order that I put in. <sighs> super, super excited. It was a lot, even with, even with the discount that I got from winning that prize. I still paid $81.50, but I tell you, it is worth. Well, I hope it's worth it. I don't know, because I've never had one. But as far as everybody else talks about them, they're nice. So I'm super excited and I can't wait. But I had to get round, which you know me, I like to order in square because round I can get any day. And uh, at the pink raspberry. And I kind of want it square because like square tells a lot about a company, whether, you know, if they fit or not, because round is like usually no brainer, but a square, I think makes it breaks it. That's like, that's how I think. I'm not necessarily meaning everybody has to think like that, but that's how I think in my head, you know? Do you guys understand what I mean? So I want, like it doubled in price. It went up from, what was the regular price? I think it was $92 and it was only a 40 by 50. 56 I think I got and uh, as soon as I put in squares it went up to $139 and I'm like yeah I think I'll do round click back to round so yeah but super happy that I'm actually gonna get one I know it's gonna take a while to come in but just knowing that I'm going to get one soon is super exciting. At least it is to me. You know, I I like it when I get mail. I feel, I feel special. I feel special when I get mail. And yeah, I like getting mail. Makes me feel like it's a birthday present or a Christmas present because when I was a kid, I never really got any. So now I think my internet shopping <laughs> reminds me of getting a gift every time in the mail. And I like it and I get to open it up and see what it is. So yeah, 
Well, I really like it. See, now the yawns are coming in because the alcohol is kicking in and it's making me sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to have a good sleep tonight. I tell you guys, I am, I am. Gosh, maybe this job is going to start turning me to drink at night. No, I'm just joking. I'm only drinking because we had this bottle and I, then I wanted to try I wanted to try it. I'm not really keen on it because it is pretty, it's pretty sour. It's pretty pucker lips kind of sour. Or I made Alyssa make it for me. I think she made it a little bit too strong, probably because she doesn't know what the heck she's doing. Yeah. So that's pretty much It, my few days off in a nutshell I had a really nice time in my life there's a few new people that came in that I have never seen before on the channel and I welcome them all to the live and if I didn't see you or catch you I'm so sorry but sometimes I just start diamond painting and I don't pay attention to the chat I'm really bad at that but uh Saw a lot of new faces and I was super happy and super excited. The channel is growing a little bit and I'm super happy about it. Um, I'm super excited to figure out what this painting is going to look like in the end because I feel like it's going to be really nice. But I'm kind of getting a little bit overwhelmed because I feel like I'm never going to get this one done because it's so big. But have, have faith, Lizzie, have faith that you will get this done. It's just so like dark colors too, right? One time I did one of my mom. I think if you look back in videos like from a long, long time ago, I have a, I have a video that has my, um, I really have to start making playlists, but anyways, I have to figure out how to do it. So, um, I have completed diamond paintings that I have done. It's like way back when I first started my channel of what I did. And a lot of them I did before I had my channel. And one of them was my mom and my aunt and it was like a black and white photograph of them in Portugal and I tell you when I was working on that painting I'm like oh my gosh this is like nothing there's like no like there's gonna be just gray and black and white socks that's all I could see at first and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this did not turn out like, I got it from Cheryl and uh, she got it from one of the companies she was getting it from before she opened up the store. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like, and I'm pretty sure it was around. I usually got Weird. I don't remember. No, it's around. And the one I did of my brother was around as well. But anyway, besides the point, I thought it wasn't going to turn out at all because it was like, just looked like gray and some white socks. Because I think my mom was wearing like white nylons or something. Well, at least that's what it looked like in a black and white picture. And yeah, so this one is showing a lot more detail than that one did. That is for sure. But it could have been because it was custom made from a photo from an old, old, old photograph that I didn't even have the original copy. I just um, someone posted it on Facebook. My um cousin did I honestly don't know where she got the picture from but then I took it from there so 
But in the end, it turned out amazing. Like you can see my mom and you can see my and her sister so good. Like that sister that's in the picture with my mom in that one, she's still alive. She's the only one left out of the 11 children that my grandparents had yet. My grandparents were a little frisky. You know what I'm saying? They had to have been to have 11 children or the lack of birth control in Portugal. <laughs> it was something. Oh, my mom told me a story once that my grandfather had a mistress. Like, okay, I like my grandfather too that lived here in Canada. He probably had one too for all I know. I've never heard any stories about him. But my mom said that my grandfather had a mistress. And back in the olden days, oh, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a break and then I'll tell the story. But this wasn't the story I was gonna tell, but I'm gonna tell you the story. So I was telling you about the story. I will continue. So back in the olden days, my grandparents were poor, and I'm pretty sure my grandfather was a fisherman. And back then they had like their work clothes, but then they had you know their Sunday best, like clothes that they'd wear to go out or do whatever or to church or whatever so my grandfather apparently had a mistress and my grandmother got mad one day and she decided that she was gonna <laughs> show my grandfather who's boss and she dunked his his uh good clothes in the rain barrel outside the house and got them sopping wet so that he couldn't go out to meet up with his mistress. This is the story my mom told me that happened. I'm not sure all the details if he actually really did have a mistress or whatever, or if it was just my grandma going bat ass crazy, <laughs> I don't know. It was probably possibly true, but yeah, my mom told me that story of my grandparents in Portugal. I never met them. Um, they passed away before my parents came to Canada. Um, at the end, I think my grandfather died first, probably from all of his affairs, I don't know. <laughs> And then my grandmother died. My my mom's mom died afterwards. I think she was living with my parents when she passed away. I'm pretty sure. But my mom my mom took it very hard when my mom when her mom passed away. According to her, she wore like it was either black or brown for a few years after my grandmother passed away. Cause that's kind of like tradition. And then when my dad passed away, my mom wore black until she died. She wore black because my father passed away. And that's like a Portuguese tradition. I'm pretty sure like a lot of European places do that, like have that tradition of wearing black when their husbands or loved ones pass away. Like my mom wore black like every single day, like every single day she wore black. The only time she didn't wear black was to sleep, like, cause you can't really find my, like black old lady nighties, you know? <laughs> so that's what my mom used to wear. Yeah, so that was the story of my flirtatious grandfather, apparently. But, you know, I don't know for sure, but that's what rumor was. That's what rumor had it to my mom. My mom was probably really close with my grandma. I'm not 100% sure. My mom was the youngest out of them all. She also had another, she had one little sister that was two years old and passed away because apparently she was playing outside with a neighbor 
a neighbor kid and the kid hit her in the head with a rock. And back then they didn't have doctors on the island, so she ends up passing away from her injuries of the rock. So I've been told by my mom. And then my mom, I think she was before my mom, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. And then she had another sister. She had two, two sisters that were alive for a long time. Well, one of them still alive, but the other one lived, she lived in Portugal, but then I think she came to the U.S. and she lived in Massachusetts with her family, her kids. I think they all immigrated to Massachusetts. I have a lot of family in Massachusetts. Um, from my mom's side and my dad's side, I have a lot of them. So that's why the one time I went to, I've been to Massachusetts now. How many times have I been? One, two, I've been there three times now. Three times I've been to Massachusetts. Uh, the last time was about almost four years ago I went um, to the Cape with my sister. Cause my cousin, one of my cousins bought a house on the Cape. So we went to the Cape for a week that was my last big vacation. And that was like four years ago, I think now. I really like the Cape and I like that area. It's just really expensive on the Cape to like, especially when you're buying like breakfast, lunch and supper dinners, you know, it gets kind of expensive. But yeah, I had fun at the Cape. We stay there about a week. And I haven't gone back since. My sister Helen has gone back a few times since, but I have not. Um, now, nobody can go, right, because of COVID. But that was rude. Tyler just burped in the background. I'm going to pause for a little bit till he leaves. And I'm back. Tyler's gone now. So, I think I'm going to go with next Kiki on the potty I don't know why I decided to go with this stuff first I usually have, I have been doing all the black first but I figure I always do black on my whipping chats let's change it up a little bit today they're very hard to see in this dark living room of mine I do apologize for how dark it is here, but there's not much you can do. Oh, Lisa Bradley, you'd be happy to know that I have been watching the Supernaturals. So yeah, super excited. Um, I'm liking it. I'm, I kind of like a little bit skimmed through season two because I felt like I've already watched some of it. So now I'm working on season three. I know I got a long way to go, but at least it keeps me entertained. I'm kind of a little bit freaky in some episodes, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I am liking it, and plus, man, they're hot. You gotta admit, like, I wish, I wish he was on, I wish they were on the sexy painting. I just, just, that's all I'm gonna say about that one. Well, the other story I was going to tell you about was one time I went to a party and um, I was at my friend's house <laughs> and the neighbors came over that lived next door, this one guy that lived next door to my friend and she had his friend with him. So then they started drinking with them. I wasn't drinking because I I drove, so I know I wasn't drinking. But I was just there at the party and then they all decided they were gonna play cards or whatever. So they're all sitting around the table and I was sitting with them, but I don't think I was playing cards. I don't remember, but anyway, 
So I had um, my girlfriend's brother-in-law was there. And then this new guy that I had never met before, he showed up with the neighbor. And uh, he was sitting beside me and I was sitting beside him because I kind of fancied him a little bit. Like he was cute, like he was cute and I've never met him before. You know, intriguing because it's a new guy and he was paying attention, right? He was talking and being all flirty with me and stuff. So I was just paying attention. Well, my friend's brother has always tried to like get with me, but I always push him away because, you know, it was my friend's brother's, her husband's brother. And I just felt like, you know, oh, well, that's kind of awkward to sleep with him or whatever, right? Because then he's going to tell his brother everything about it, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if I want to, <laughs> to like, put myself in that situation or whatever. But anyway, we're all sitting at the table and doesn't the one guy, my friend's brother-in-law, put his hand on my leg. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like I'm just sitting there, like acting like nothing's going on. So he has his hand on one of my legs, like on my thigh. And then <laughs> I was sitting by the new guy and all of a sudden he puts his hand on my other thigh. So here I am <laughs> sitting there with both these guys with their hands on my thigh, on my upper thigh. And neither one of them know that the other one <laughs> has their hand on my thigh. And I'm just sitting there going, oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> I'm just like trying to act cool with them, like both with their hands there. And then when it came time to like leave, they're like, my friend's brother-in-law goes to me, oh, can you drive me home? And I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Well, then the new guy asked me too, if I could drive him home. So here I am having both of them asking me to drive home. Well, then I have to decide, well, who am I dropping off last? <laughs> Cause obviously I want to go home with the person I dropped last, right? Well, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, and then I decided, well, I'm going to drop off my friend's brother-in-law first. Cause that was just awkward. So, and he was like, he was mad that I dropped him off first. I'm not going to lie. But I dropped him off first, and then I had this new guy that I've only met that night. And I'm like asking him where he lives, and like he wouldn't tell me. Like we're driving all around town. This is like probably two or three in the morning, and he wouldn't tell me where he lived. I figured out that finally the last place that we did go was his place. But then we started making out in the car. He's like, oh, well, you can't send me home after that. So anyways, I ended up, we ended up going back to my place, but I didn't sleep with him that night. Um, we made out for a while and then he, I made him sleep on the couch and I went up to my room and passed out. By the time I came back up down in the morning, he was gone. So I don't know what time he left at. I don't know if he left shortly after. I don't know anything, but he wasn't there when I got up in the morning. So then I thought, oh, well, I'm probably never going to see this guy again or whatever. And then I get, maybe like a few days later, I get a phone call from him. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he wants to like ask me out again or something, right? So I answer and I'm like all excited. He wants to sell me life insurance. Okay. <laughs> he he calls me and asks me if he could come and set up an appointment to try to sell me life insurance. So I'm like, oh my gosh, are you for real? But like I said, yes, because, you know, I thought he was hot and I kind of wanted to see him again. So he comes over, he does his whole spiel or whatever of like his insurance thing. So at the time he was selling life insurance. I don't even know, I don't even remember who he's selling life insurance for. And uh, so then at the end of his spiel or whatever, we're talking, he's like, oh, are you going to your friend's next party? Like, I think it was like a couple, like next weekend, or I don't even remember when it was. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. So 
And then uh, he asked my friend, uh, he asked my friend Heather too for my phone number. And then she's like, "Oh, why do you want his fo Why do you want her phone number?" So that's how he got my number to call me about the life insurance. And then I got all excited when Heather told me he asked for my phone number. And then to find out it's to sell me life insurance, I was like so bummed out. But anyways, the following weekend we both went to the party, and he was kind of hitting on this other girl at the party, so I got kind of mad, and I left and I went home. And uh, then he just shows up at my door because obviously because he knows where I live after because he came home with me that one day and then the rest was history and I dated him for like three years after that and that was Jay so yeah that's how I met Jay it was it was really bizarre but I honestly feel like Jay was the first guy I actually truly loved um he was after my husband I honestly don't feel like I loved my husband like I should have loved I was young and uh, foolish when I married him and he was not the right one for me and yeah so I really fell hard for Jason after my divorce I really super did I have so many stories of our crazy relationship because it was pretty crazy back then because like he liked to party and I was always designated driver and I would stay up with him till four o'clock in the morning for him to party with his friends and for him to have a safe ride home. It was just crazy back then, like the things I used to do. The things I used to do for, for love. I have so many crazy, crazy stories with that guy. But yeah, it was a blast. I, I don't regret any time I spent with him. He was good to me. He was good to my children. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about Jay other than he was a cheater. But yeah. I've been on both sides of the end, so I can't really say either way, right? So, yeah, I have a story about that too. And she was supposed to be my best friend. So if you want to hear that story next, just let me know in the comments below. And I will tell that story next weekend because I have quite a few stories about my relationship with <laughs> with him because it was so crazy back in the 90s oh the good old 90s i tell you i don't know i feel so old but yeah but i think that's it i'm gonna wrap it up for today i hope you guys enjoyed that last story of my crazy love life because i sure did have some craziness back in my 20s i tell you after i broke up with jay there was a lot of men in between because <sighs> i started drinking a lot more when we broke up but then when i started working well i still partied on the weekends too when i started working at the pharmaceutical place on my weekends off, but I did do a lot of partying back in my 20s with my girlfriends. Every weekend we'd head off to the local bars and we would dance. Now, if I go to rumors in town, I feel so old, but like that used to be my jam back when I was in my 20s. like. We would go there and we would dance all night long till morning. Yeah, me and my girlfriends, we used to own those bars. That one in the Derby. The Derby was me, Heather, and Linda's place. That's where we'd always go hang out. I so enjoyed, um, 
my uh, friends back then, my like they were sisters, Linda and Heather. Oh my gosh, I have so many stories of us all too, all hanging out. Oh, she was a riot. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. And um, that's all I got done for tonight. I'm probably gonna work on this off and on throughout the weekend, after work maybe. But Sunday night, I'm going to have to go back to the Mystery Diamond Painting and work on it a little bit. So I have a video for you guys on Monday. But till then, I'm going to try. I didn't film the post review for the Diamond Art Club. If I don't get it done this weekend, I might try to get it done Sunday night after work. If I don't do it, then I guess it's just going to get pushed again. But you guys, it's done. Honest. I'm not lying. It is done. I should have got it out and on before July 1st because that's when it ended the DP, the Mandy DP, um, the hashtag Mandy, Mandy DP 2020 ended on July 1st. I actually did get that painting done before July 1st. I honestly, I, I promise I did, but it's just that I've been slacking on doing the post review. But with that said, again, I always say that. Like, I think I say with that said like three times before the video actually even ends. Yeah, I know I do. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to edit this and watch another episode of The Supernatural. So take care, everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.